Hello, Yowsh! It's Red Panda Gamer here for a let's play of Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. Why am I let's playing this game, you ask? Well, because I want to. And if you don't like it, you can go ahead and dislike this video and get out because I don't care. And this is an awesome game. Probably one of the best Mighty Morphin Power Ranger. Probably one of the best Power Ranger games ever made. And it's super fun. And for those of you who don't even know what Mighty Morphin Power Rangers are, if you just know what the newer Power Rangers are or any of the other older ones, this is the best one. For several reasons. First of all, the original Power Rangers was so inappropriate. Just in the fact that they used stereotypes for their characters, they all acted the same way. I mean, without seeing their colors, like without seeing the colors of their clothes, you would know which Ranger was which if you used stereotypes. I mean, <clears throat> maybe not blue so much, but like the Red Ranger, the leader, you know, of course he's gonna be the big buff white guy, you know, the Pink Ranger, she's gonna be the you know, little girl with the big boobs, the, bla <laughs> the Black Ranger, like, that, that doesn't need to be any more obvious than that. Same thing with the Yellow Ranger, even though you can't really see. She's Asian. Like, that's horrible. Uh, but in this Let's Play, I'm going to be using most characters. I'm going to start off with my personal favorite, Zack. I like Zack the most because, A, he's the Mastodon, which I think is awesome. B, I think a black Power Ranger just looks freaking awesome. And I mean suit-wise, not racially-wise. Um, just in general, I think he's... Oh, God. I forgot how to play this game. Okay. What the? It won't let me jump. Oh, never mind. I forgot there's a jump button. I'm normally I normally play games where you jump with um. <laughs> that was bad. I'm nor I'm used to games where you jump with the up, but in this game you don't. And also in this game, which is weird, is you only have one button for attack. Um, this game came out for the Super Nintendo. Um, I don't remember what year. I thought it said '95. Um, it was pretty much at the peak of the popularity of the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, which was the original Power Rangers. Power Rangers have been through so many different. Um, versions. I think there's about I think there's 12 different Power Ranger seasons. Seasons, and by seasons I mean like different versions, because I mean obviously there's several seasons of the same kind. Um, but Mighty Morphin was the first. Um, it was super popular show in the 90s. Um, I loved it. My friends loved it. We always played Power Rangers. Uh, we all had the action figures, the masks, the guns, the weapon, everything. Had the giant Megazord that you could take into part into pieces and you know play with all the different animals separately and Power Rangers was just such a cultural phenomenon and such a product of the 90s that if you weren't around for it you wouldn't understand and yeah you could say you've seen it now but Power Rangers is nothing compared to what it used to be. Um, the guys we're fighting now they're putties. Um, they're pretty easy to fight. Their only weapon really is a knife. Um, they have a little bit of longer reach than you so that's the only reason it really affects you. Why it's an effective weapon I guess. Um, I'm playing pretty sloppy right now because I haven't played this game in a while, but a while back I tried really hard to do a no-hit run of this game, which is pretty much impossible, for me anyway. I'm not that good at gaming, um, so it was really difficult for me, but as, with as many times as I've played this game, I really wanted to try it at least. Um, something else about this game you'll notice, I'm playing a Power Rangers game, but I'm not actually Power Ranger. Um, all, most of the levels start off like this. <clears throat> they all are pretty scripted, pretty normal. And then the main bad guy comes out, and we do morph and die, and we become the ranger, the gray ranger, I guess. Doesn't look all that black, but I guess that's just probably to make him stand out. Um, when you become the Power Rangers, you get to use your weapons. So uh, Zachary, or Zack, I guess, has uh, an axe. It's pretty sweet. That's another reason I like him a lot. He's got just the weird, the coolest weapon ever. Um, so chop down some putties. Uh, obviously, the putties are. Um, organized by their color. Uh, their difficulty is judged by their color. So, uh, gray are the easiest. At least that shade of gray is. Oh, those are pterodactyls that throw stuff at you. Uh, green ones aren't really that strong, but they can do a flying jump kick. The AI also is something else that differs between the colors, like how strong they are. It isn't always necessarily how many hits they can take, but it's how smart their AI is. But for the most part, all their AI is pretty dumb. Um, there's more enemies than just buddies, obviously, uh, but in the first level, this is kind of just their introduction. You can throw benches, and that is energy, so pick those up. Um, they can get hurt by their own, those in an explosion, as you can see there. So you can kind of just let them walk into it themselves, it's easy to take care of them. Um, as I said, there's only one attack button in this game, um, which is the Y button, if you're playing on the Super Nintendo. Pretty sure I mentioned this game off the Super Nintendo. Um, but then you can jump and do an attack, you can duck, you can do an over attack like that, which is freaking hardcore. I'm pretty sure it counts for two hits. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, this may seem like a bit of a weird LP, but if you've ever played this game before, you totally understand why I'm doing it. Um, it's a really fun game, it's a really good classic beat em up, and it's freaking Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. I was between doing this and Turtles in Time, 
because those are two of my favorite um, <laughs> cartoon-based games, I guess you could say. I'm kind of trying to just do one level per uh, one yeah, level per episode, so because this game is pretty short. Um, by the way, that thing I picked up earlier, not just that, that was health. The thing I picked up before that was actually a bomb. You can see at the bottom right, there's a bomb indicator next to your lives. Um, and if you use the bomb, which I'm not going to use yet, I'll show you guys in a minute, you can pick up more, like halfway through the level, because they expect you to kind of use it just to give it a try. I like destroying the cars, and because they just blow up into nothing. Apparently, they just, the explosion's so huge, they just disintegrate. You can throw those barrels, but I accidentally slammed the guy into them, so whatever. But as I've said, this first level is so easy. The game gets a little bit harder, I guess, um, but not really. You only have two lives, uh, but you get two games, so. Plus there's a password system, which I can't stand. But it's only numbers, and you get to, um... <clears throat> it's only numbers, and I'm pretty sure you can continue. You only really need to use the password system if you turn off the game. So this is our first boss battle, and for the life of me, I cannot remember this guy's name. I'll definitely be more prepared. It's been a long time since I've watched the Ninja, or not Ninja Turtles, since I've watched uh, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, and it's one of those shows I've never really revisited, quite like I have with most other cartoons I used to watch. You know, I could tell you any Pokemon, I could tell you any Ninja Turtles villain, I could tell you um, most characters from like Samurai Jack and stuff like that, but Power Rangers is just one I never had an opportunity to revisit for some reason. Like, when it was gone, it was just kind of gone for me. But everything else has pretty much remained. Uh, this guy has several different forms. Um, I almost called him Skeletor. Uh, the first form you saw, he gets to use his uh, rapier. Rapier? I don't even know how you pronounce it. Uh, then he breaks into his legs, and he can just kind of kick you, jump on you. And then he turns into just a floating head, and he can spit fireballs at you. Um, the bomb is. Here, I'll use the bomb real quick. I believe it's, there you go, it's the X button. Everyone has a different one. Um, it all goes according to what na Zord you use. Obviously, I'm the Mastodon, so I use the Mastodon. <coughs> There's our password for the area cleared. And we turn into Rainbow Ranger, and we disappear. So, that's good. We finished the first level. Pretty good timing. Uh, short videos, I'm sorry, but if you like this video, please subscribe to Yoush, please subscribe to me, I'm Red Panda Gamer. my comment, or my comment, my channel is in the description below, if you hated this video, sorry, you got about like 10 or 12 more, if you love this video, awesome, give it a like and a favorite, and I'll see you guys in the next episode of Let's Play Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, see you next time.